So a little uh, tips and tricks video uh, originally posted uh, by Matt Clark. He uh, did a video on porting these cheap downpipes because of uh, sticking wastegate actuators. Um, which is this interesting little device here. And if you don't know with these cheap downpipes, um, they never test fit them. They never port them so that these uh, flaps don't get stuck. So what happens is they get stuck on these uh, downpipes on the edge there. So I'm just going to go through and show you kind of what I did here to solve my boost creep issue. Um as well as a low boost low boost issue so what was happening for me was it was getting stuck up on the side there and it was either getting stuck all the way open or hitting on the lip here and not opening fully so sometimes it would rattle fully open and then get stuck um, this is just an old turbo that I had kicking around it was the one that came off the MR2 but it's no longer on it because I used one of these cheap oil feed and return lines, which is actually ported out right now. Um, if you have one of these, you'll know that the hole for the return line is very small. And what I've done here is kind of tapered the edges. I don't use this line anymore because I've just had too many problems with it, but you can taper the edges down here so it, you know, allows oil to flow more freely through it. But they are very poorly made um, compared to the stock. I think this is about half the size. Like you can, I can stick my pinky barely in there. Whereas the stock line, I can fully, you know, I can put in my thumb. So, um, and these restrictors and on the feed and everything, I tried everything to stop the leak. I mean, I've got, this is the uh, part that goes into the block. And then there's a restrictor here. Um, you know, I was trying to slow down the feed because it wasn't returning it quick enough. So it was over lubricating and I'd had oil just spilling all out of this turbo. So at first I thought it was a turbo issue. So I replaced the turbo and then had the same problems on the other turbo so realized that uh, the stock uh, lines are better than these aftermarket junk so do not buy these um, unless you're planning on welding your own uh, fitting on there or something or porting that out further because like even these lines they're a lot smaller on the inside and all these little adapters and everything's just going to slow flow down. So, do not recommend using those. So, let's get this little cat dealt with. Downpipe decat. Mind the mess, this is an old uh, turbo that I had on the MR2 before. So what's basically happening is uh, this edge right here, where your downpipe meets the turbo, you'll more than likely have a lip here that you're going to need to shave down. Otherwise, it's going to hit on that edge and your wastegate's only going to open about quarter of an inch or so when really it should be opening the full inch and a quarter 
So mine was only opening a little bit and then when it would open, it would get stuck. So basically what we've done here now is uh, taken this lip down, cleaned it up a bit, but we're gonna go back in and you know, clean that up, so. So what I've done here is I've layered two gaskets to give you a reference on what the differences are. Um, the lower gasket is um, a cheap eBay gasket. The one on top is an OEM. And if you look above here, you can actually see how much that cheap gasket protrudes into where this wastegate flap is here you can see it it actually touches it if you pull if you pull to one side it actually hits right there so that's another issue as well if you buy one of these cheap gaskets you're going to have to file down this edge as well but i'm not going to be used. this was a brand new gasket which was on my other uh turbo that's in the car and it's already rusted and it actually has what looks like some denting here from this actuator not this one but the one in the car from it actually hitting there so i'm gonna scrap this gasket and this new well it's not quite it's used but it's an oem gasket and it's got well it's a lot thicker it's probably about twice as thick and and it does not protrude into that area at all so i'm gonna go with this one for sure Let's see if we can get a thickness difference here quite a bit thicker like you'd have to feel it but there's a good reference right there if you look at the corner this top tip you can kind of see man that's blurry you can't see nothing Well, it's time for breakfast, and it's time to get a coffee in me. So I'm going to go do that, and then uh, we're going to get this downpipe back in the car, which is uh, in its own special little place. So I got a flashlight in there but it's not plugged in.